Hello everybody, I'm glad to welcome you on 13th episode of Cars from Cyberpunk 2077 Overview. So today we have the 32,000 euro dollars car. It's the last one about among the cheap, cheapest ones below 40k. Uh, after that all cars will be average price. So Emperor 620 Ragnar. That's car we, we're having today. And uh, now you can see how it looks. Let's just buy it and get in. So, inside we have some sort of panel. Maybe head up display, display. Nothing is displayed, actually. Okay, so uh, let's turn off the radio as usual and check our bars. We have the time, F engine status. Uh, the power, the speed, and that seems that's all we have. This is how it looks. So, it's kind of similar to Chevrolet, maybe Tahoe even. Uh, so, let's go and check what is the handling and the maximum speed and other performance characteristics. So. Its acceleration is not fast as it was expected, at least by me. And about hand, let's check it. Mm. Not really easy to control it. Mm, it's like an, a butter. It's not comfortable, actually. It is so. But at least I think it's uh, heavy one and won't be easy to smash it. Okay, we went the wrong direction. I don't wanna go there. I just wanna show you the maximum speed. So we need something straight, very straight. And I think. This road is great enough to reach the maximum speed of this car. Okay, so what else do we have here? Um, we need to check the braking and the turns also once more. 115, 120 already. I think something somewhere about 130 is maximum for this car. But like. Uh, cyber truck it, it looks like mm, square and someone may like it mm. among the cheap and uh, cheapest ones it's closer to the average price cars so it should be very good like in handling and in speed but as we see, the maximum is about 130, the handling is like a butter on the road, and I won't recommend uh, this car to use by anybody of you, but if you like how it looks, of course, you can buy it. And uh, the one thing we also need to check is the turns. So as a previous car, without pressing spacebar, it can drift, and the turns become better because of it. So it was without using any braking systems. So let's now drift in. Drifting is not bad. Uh, is not the best of this car. So as you see, it can really easily move other cars on the road. But uh, handling and performance is not that comfortable. So, what else do we have to check with this car? Yeah, this car you should f for sure use without any braking and other stuff. Just turning left will make it drift. And 
I think that's all about interesting about this car. I think we can't even reach 130, actually. Mm, maybe now we will be able to reach it. Yes. Finally. One. Let's see the maximum. It will go down to the maximum right now. 127, I suppose. 120. Okay. 127 yeah, is its maximum. Now even 6, 126. Without any turns. Okay, so this is what this car is and better like to drift without any braking um, using this car. So that's all I wanted to show you about this one and uh, leave a comment whether you like it or not. You can uh, subscribe to the channel, I will appreciate it and also leave a like or dislike. So, see you in the next episode of Car Overview for Cy Cyberpunk 2077.